So Missouri, as some of you may have seen recently, is ground zero for a lot of polarization, divisive partisan games, and frankly, unrepresentative election outcomes uh, in a government that is not working for the people. We also have a very accessible ballot initiative process. That's a good thing. And historically, voters and the media here have a history of being very supportive of cleaning up our broken and corrupt political system to create a brighter future for our state. So whether it's um, healthcare, poverty, the rural urban divide and broadband access, there's so many issues where the government is not working for the people and these divisive partisan games are getting in the way of addressing the needs of the people of Missouri. Just to give one example, our disgraced former governor, Eric Greitens, our, uh, not our current governor, but our last one, uh, he actually won the 2016 Republican governor's uh, primary by securing 34.5% of the vote. Again, our last governor became governor because he won the Republican primary with 34.5% of the vote statewide. That was over businessman John Brunner with 25%, Peter Kinder with 21%, and Catherine Hannaway with 20%. And again, he went on to win narrowly in the general election, but then resigned in disgrace uh, after a court ordered that his dark money donors had to be revealed. So he resigned rather than have to reveal his dark money donors. This, these are the kind of games, this is the kind of corruption that we're facing in Missouri. And imagine what would happen, you know, right now we have our U.S. Senator Roy Blunt saying that he is is not going to run again, and there is a huge free-for-all in the Republican primary again to decide who's going to represent us in the U.S. Senate. Imagine what it would be like in the U.S. Senate if Missouri and other states, but starting here in Missouri, elected our senators with the way that we're doing it now in St. Louis, nonpartisan approval voting primary with a top two runoff. Imagine the kind of broad support and accountability and consensus building we would see not only here in our state, but in the U.S. Senate if we were to take these reforms statewide. So I'm really uh, excited about the positive change that approval voting could mean for Missouri, for our state residents, in our representation in our state and for the country as a whole, if we're able to apply these to all statewide elections, including, including the US Senate.